We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the Kansas City Royals. George Springer the next to hit, and we are set for baseball here this evening. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Seven o'clock. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Temperature here at the park tonight a comfy 72 degrees at first pitch. This one's down to third. And that'll get by into left field, so he's on to lead off the inning. Batting second, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Outside for a ball one and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like the hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. In for strike two. A swing and a ground ball to third. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. Coming to the plate now, Jorgon Alvarez. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Springer leads off second with one gun in the inning. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So stepping in, Alex Bregman. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. First pitch of the at bat. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. Real nice curveball there. Had a lot of late break, and he waved right through that one. Comes set, the 0 1. Fastball just misses, that's ball one. Now, about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Two out here and a runner at second. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Merrifield will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Yeah. 
Fastball called for strike two. Mondesi has what you'd call elite speed. His legs are a big part of his game on both sides of the scorecard. This is one tool, Matty, I know nothing about. I used to get to first base, hand my batting gloves to the first base coach, give daps to the first baseman, and be like, yo, what's up? This guy gets on first base, and he's thinking about second and third. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Adalberto Mondesi is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Swung on and missed for the first strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, he finds himself down 0-2 with the quickness. I know he's a great two-strike hitter, but this at bat, he's going to have to find a way to nickel and dime and get this thing back to even. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Hunter Dozier becomes out number two this inning. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. And he falls behind 0-2. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Michael Brantley. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit softly down the line at first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Hey. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Fouled off. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Standing in, Carlos Correa. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. Line drive to left. And there to take it in is Gordon for route number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in to hit next will be the outfielder Kyle Tucker. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. <laughs> to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. First pitch on its way from Verlander. And he clearly couldn't make up his mind on that one coming in. A swing and a miss. After taking such an ugly swing, if I'm the batter right now, it has to be in the back of my mind that he might repeat that exact same pitch. The 1-1 is taken for ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Three and two now. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. 
Stepping into the box, Whit Merrifield, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Popped up. Guriel is there. One down. Stepping up to the plate, Ryan O'Hearn. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the stretch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. And it's quickly 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that means Michael Franco, the third baseman, will bat next. One ball, no strikes to count. Verlander pauses. Here it comes on 1-0. That misses 2-0. Bottom of the second here with no score. Two and one now. From the belt, the pitch fouled away. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Now in the box, Salvador Perez. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Strike one to start the at bat. He set the 0-1. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. And it's fouled away. Oh, and two. Here it is. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway. And digging in to bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Now the pitch. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first out. Settling in now, Martin Maldonado. Martin Maldonado. First pitch coming, here it is. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. And he fouls this one off. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike. And now they're two gone. Back to the top of the order now. And that brings in George Springer. First delivery to him on the way. Hit in the air to right field. Solaire's after it. He's there to track it down. And that'll end the inning.
bottom of the inning now. And up next is Speedy D. Gordon. The second baseman. First offering on its way. And there's a fastball from Verlander to jump ahead 0-1. And he lays off for ball one. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Now the one-two home to Gordon. That's popped up. Correa ranging into the outfield. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. On he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch way inside with that one a pretty easy take there bottom of inning number three nothing nothing our score and a swing and a miss and another punch out here six already and that's out number two now batting. so bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up Hunter Gozier strike taken up in the zone that elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning, and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case up and away to start the inning it's 1 and 0 a ball and a strike one and one A ball and two strikes. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. To two balls and two strikes now. Chopped in front of home plate. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Next will be the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike 3 in his first plate appearance. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball 1. Ball and two strikes now. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Fouled off. Hey, last two pitches back-to-back -back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Another one sent foul. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. 
So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Grounded to third. Bronco fields it cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Alex Gordon. First offering on its way. Gordon. A bouncer to the left side. Bregman fields it cleanly. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. So next to the plate for the Royals, Jorge Soler. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. First pitch coming, here it is. A bit high there, a ball and no strikes. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. Oh. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Altuve onto the grass. He's got it, a great running play, and that'll retire the side. Riding in once again, Michael Brantley. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Michael Brantley. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. Ball one. Ball one, no fight. Now the 1 0. -oh. This is two and one. In today's game, everybody trying to work off the mound north south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east west than to have you call that high fastball. The count now at two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Merrifield is there, and he has it for the first out. Here's Carlos Correa now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Correa. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. 
And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now that right field, Kyle Tucker. To the plate now, Kyle Tucker. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. One ball, one strike. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Now the 2-1. This is in the air to left. Gordon is there. He's got it and there are two down now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So two are gone for the Astros in the fifth. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. He's set and the pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. And this pitch is popped straight up right around the home plate area. And Sally will make the play here to retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And here comes the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Springer patrolling center makes the play Number one out. Number seven. So the bases are empty with one man gone. Franco. And that means Michael Franco, the third baseman, will bat next. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. The wind up and the 0 1. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight okay. now in the ball game for him. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. This is line to left. Brenton is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Now at the plate, Martin Maldonado. He's set to lead us off in the sixth the inning. Martin Maldonado. First pitch coming. Here it is. Line drive to center field. Merrifield is right there. One down. Digging in, George Springer. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Now the pitch. Hey. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. Now that the second baseman. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. As he grounds one briskly to short, Mondesi brings it in, and there are two away now. Now batting, Jordan Alvarez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Alvarez. First pitch of the at bat. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Nope. 
sinker. One ball, one strike. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. And there's ball two now. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. The one two. Line drive to left. And Gordon will make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And up next is Speedy D. Gordon. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ball and a strike. And it's fouled away. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And the Royals are in the hit column. Now batting. Number 27. Standing in now, Adalberto Mondesi. As Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. One and two, the counts of the Royals shortstop. He's, He's, He's running. Going. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. From the belt, the pitch. Runner goes for second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. In now, Alex Gordon. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. First pitch fastball swung out and missed 0 1. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Here's Verlander now on 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want. Ouch, that one hit him. 
big spot here. First and second, two men gone, and that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. Verlander pauses and delivers. Well, the Royals have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Springer looking up. And gone! A dramatic home run that gives them their first lead of the game. With Merrifield next to bat. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball. One and oh. Now here it comes. Swung on and missed. One and one. Merrifield behind a ball and two strikes. Three runs already home here. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Line drive snagged on a short hop. On to the first baseman Guriel, and that will end the inning. Ready for another chance. Michael Brantley. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Tim Hill comes in to work out of the bullpen now. And, Dan, are you surprised that the starter's day is done? I am a little, Matt, but this is one of those moves that people will debate forever. I think he could have pitched a little bit longer, but I understand the idea of bringing a lefty in to face this upcoming left-hander as well. So we'll see how this works out. Number 16, And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Hill has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen, part of what makes him as effective as he is. 2-0 count. Here it comes. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Ball even at two and two. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Ready with the two and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Now the three and two pitch. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. Fly ball right down the line and left. Going after it is Gordon. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Stepping into the box, Carlos Correa. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. and one delivery ball one. that's over but low it's a ball and a strike fouled off the one two takes this the other way to right Soler is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Next up for the Strohs, Kyle Tucker. He flew out in his last at-bat. He's set. Here it comes. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. 
Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. And it's one and two. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now at two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Another 2 2 offering. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Last half of the seventh here, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. The first baseman. Now the pitch. Back to work now is Verlander as the first pitch of the inning is swung on and missed for strike one. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. At the plate, Michael Franco. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And that misses ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Three balls, two strikes. Due up next is Salvador Perez. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Here's a ground ball out to the shortstop, Correa. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and Verlander's got it going here. Two away. And up steps Salvador Perez. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Verlander's ready. Here's the first pitch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Salvador Perez behind in the count, nothing in two. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0-2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. So here's Yuli Gurriel. He got for the Astros. The first baseman, number 10. Yuli F.D. Gurriel. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here comes the 0 1. Yeah. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Ready with the 0 2. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Now to the plate, Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. 
First delivery to him on the way. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Miles Straw will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Greg Holland gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. Number 35, Greg Holland. Here's George Springer. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. What is it? And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. And the slider gets him swinging to gone. So a big moment here and standing in, Jose Altuve. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Holland, originally from the Tar Heel State of North Carolina. He throws a slider, a four-seam fastball, and a curveball. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, D. Gordon. D. Gordon. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And he popped him up. And that's in there. Base hit. The number nine hitter reaches base safely to start the inning. So here comes the top of the order with a man aboard. Now batting. Number 27. Brad Peacock is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. So now to the plate, Adalberto Mondesi, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. Runner, Runner goes. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he is out on the tag. Stepping up now, Hunter Dozier. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of the system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0 home. At the ball. 2 0. -oh.
liner towards second. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll chase this one down now out near the 387 sign. The left field, number four. Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. 0 and 2, here it comes. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. In is Jorge Soler. Another RBI spot for him. He's already got three in the game. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Jordan Alvarez. He'll be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Now the one and one pitch. A bouncer up the middle. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The third base for the Alex Redman. Trevor Rosenthal comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 40, Trevor Rosenthal. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. They could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. No one out with a runner at second. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Here he comes again, 1-2. Back up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first, and there are two on to start the inning now. Now battle. The left fielder. The left fielder. Josh Reddick will get an opportunity off the bench here as he'll bat with runners at the corners now and still nobody out. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Incident for Houston. Number 22. Let it. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Soler is there. He's got it one away. And one opportunity will go by the wayside there as he'll hold tight at third with one away now. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. And they're runners at the corners now. Carlos Correa. First pitch of the at bat. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The 0 and 1 delivery. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one.
Ready on one and two. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. O'Hearn is over and he tucks it away for the second out. So coming to the plate, Kyle Tucker. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Here's a swing and a miss. One and one. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Popped him up. Franco has a play. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, there's no doubt they've looked free and net the last five games. But they got the monkey off their back here with the win and are hoping to build on that now. Four to two, the final score tonight. The Royals earn the victory despite only collecting four total hits. Jacob Junis gets the W on the mound. Justin Verlander takes the loss despite striking out 11 batters. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.